Okay, this video is um, for my ham shack. Um, he's helping me out with uh, antenna ideas. And just for anybody who wants to look, um, it's a little bit of a better vi video showing off my um, outdoor antenna that I'm using for the Grundig here. Um, the reason why I have the outdoor antenna for the Grundig is because the one I mainly like to use for DXing and stuff. Although that's going to change once I get my Yaesu FRG7 in the mail tomorrow. Hee <laughs> hee! But that's another video. But uh, basically, for the antenna itself, I'm using what's known as a random wire. And I know it's you know not ideal because you're not going to get the best kind of reception you would with like a really good outdoor antenna. Um, I'm kind of limited to what I can do since we're renting a house. But um, as I showed in the last video, 22 gauge wire here. And I got going up here and you know don't mind all the wires I'm still <laughs> still dinking around and stuff but uh, goes up against the wall there there and then it goes uh, to the window there now let me pause it real quick okay now here it is coming out the window I really like this my window already has these little slots so it's perfect for this wire to you know string it through but it uh, goes up the window here and then it goes there, and ah, ah, lighting's a little bit better this time around, so I can see it. So I got it going there, and then I got running through a, a slinky. It goes down the length of the slinky, and then, hold on, I get a little mixed up. Okay, and then this goes whoops, across here, and then... Uh, hold on, I can't quite stuff. Oh, okay, that's right. And then I got it going down. Going down. Let's see, where? Where's the wire? Hold on, the lighting's a little crap. I'm having trouble. Okay, there we go. <laughs> it goes down that way. And then it goes here. And then I got it going through the slinky again. And it goes down to the end. And then it goes over here. And uh, that's where it ends. Um, on the bands. Starting about, I usually say about 5 megahertz, but it's usually about like 5.7 on up. Um, uh, I don't get the background noise that you, I would, you know, using a telescopic antenna. But um, anything underneath that, like, um, well, during the nighttime, I like to listen to, uh, you know, the 80 meter ham bands. And I've d done a comparison between the telescopic antenna and this. And there's uh, there's no difference at all. But um, oh, I had a chicken at the feeders. Okay. <laughs> anyhow, um, but yeah, this is the uh, setup outside for the antenna. Now let me show you how I got it, uh, how I got it grounded. Okay, and then for the ground wire, I got this. Um, it's a little bit thicker. I can't remember the gauge. I want to say it's like maybe 20 or something like that. I can't remember. I got it from Walmart, but that's what I'm using for the ground. Um, I got that plugged into the ground. Plug in, obviously. <laughs> and then I got it uh, running, you know, against down the headboard here. And then down the side. And then it's pretty much on the floor. Most of it you're not going to see because it's all like, you know, here I got behind bookshelves. And then here I got the carpet over it so nobody, you know, trips over it. Behind my owl picture here. And then it, uh, it's a little harder to see, but it goes um, through my closet here. You can maybe or maybe not see it back there laying on the floor. But um, basically it comes out here round about where you know by the window here and just for a heck of it I got uh, attached to a slinky file gear clip just cause you know had an extra slinky didn't know what to do with it so that's why I did with it it's pretty much just uh, I pretty much just been going at this experimenting seeing what works what doesn't work um, like I said these other radios here the realistic well, maybe the realistic, I would like to get hooked up to 
an outdoor antenna. I'm not sure because I do like to listen to the ham operators on it from time to time, but uh, the problem with the realistics, they drift like a son of a gun when you go on the single sideband mode. And like I said, this one's just for general listening in. This one too when the <laughs> when the furnace isn't going. So, so yeah, mainly I want this one, and when I get it, I'm probably going to put over here the FRG7. Those are the two I want, outdoor antennas. And like I said, right now as it is, for the most part, it works pretty good. Um, the antenna set up for the Grundig here. Let me, oh, excuse me, let me bring that up here real quick. Like I said, on the upper bands here, you know, it's pretty quiet. You hear a little bit in the background, but that's you know, mainly because the furnace is going right now, but... Well, here, let me just do a quick comparison. As you can see, it's a bit noisier. But it does work, uh, Pretty nice. So if I could just improve it for the, uh... You know, the lower bands, that work out quite nicely. So yeah, if uh, Ham Shack, if you or my Ham Shack, if you could help me out with this or anybody, you know, greatly appreciate it. And as always, peace and all that good stuff.